Now, Afghanistan also has high hopes for its nascent oil production. Its first oil field is now in operation, the Amu Darya Basin in the country's north. China National Petroleum Corporation, or CNUC, began pumping crude oil there on Sunday, along with the Afghan government. Courtney Boddy reports. It was a groundbreaking event. The first major oil production here ever began last week in Afghanistan's northern region. Thanks to a 25-year drilling and refining contract with the Chinese National Petroleum Corporation. For the Afghans, the production is not just about profit. It is about survival. With the U.S. Geological Survey estimating Afghanistan's untapped mineral wealth to be worth at least a trillion U.S. dollars, Chinese and Indian firms are taking the lead in contracts. The CNPC is the first to start work, but it hasn't been easy. Insurgents and local power brokers are trying to either disrupt or secure what they see as their share. The World Bank says that over 90 percent of the Afghan economy is aid-based, and when the foreigners leave in 2014, there will be a massive vacuum unless this mineral wealth can actually be exploited. But, uh, we are hopeful that um, uh, as the aid uh, starts reducing, that will make up for the reduced aid and provide Afghanistan with a sustainable long-term uh, source of, uh, uh, of, of budget. The director of the oil portfolio at the Afghan Ministry of Mines told CCTV that within 10 months of signing the contract, CNPC has given over 1,300 Afghans jobs, this in a region with major unemployment. And while now fully relying on imports, at a petrol station the local owner hopes that with the possibility of the oil field making Afghanistan self-sufficient, he too will see benefits. <laughs> The Chinese company got the contract and made the investment in oil, and they will take out more than 2,000 barrels per day. They promised, and if it will work, it will help the Afghan people. While some critics say that as Americans have invested lives and treasure here, they should receive the contracts. Others disagree. We've got to create incentives for the regional countries to cooperate for the peace of Afghanistan. What is that economic incentive? It's mines, you know, so let them, you know, be part of it. You know, they, let them take advantage of it. As the American and coalition forces begin to pull out and their money goes with them, economic fears are high, with many wondering what it was all for. If security holds, this investment into Afghanistan's oil sector could literally save the economy. If it doesn't, Afghanistan might be back to square one. Courtney Boddy, CCTV, Kabul.